Pasta boiling for dinner. A mind-boggling contrast to the icy waters our adventure divers will face during their coming adventure. One of the divers are trying to get some sleep before the dive in Queen's Bay tomorrow. A sudden feeling of uneasiness comes over her. Is it the thought of having only a 7mm neoprene wetsuit separating her from the brutal rage of the elements? Or is this rather an expression of deep anticipation to enter the dream world under the water? Finally morning and we're heading out to the dive site. First though, we need to stop and make sure our vehicle is filled up with gasoline. Besides paying for the gasoline, our driver picks up a bottle of water to avoid dehydration and a bar of chocolate just for the hell of it. As we draw closer to the ocean, the reality of the dive becomes more and more clear. Everyone has told them that the water is too cold to face without the protection of an environmentally sealed dry suit. But they are not afraid and I can sense a longing to be one with the water. Finally, we stumble into the ocean. Quite the opposite from our ancient ancestors crawling the other way. We are now here, in the cold embrace of the Queen. The divers stay outside of the camera frame, as if in respect for the silence of the depths. Though the divers feel like they've been accepted by the water. They swim around happily filming each other with an action camera mounted on a stick. Our divers slowly disappears into the cold, into their dreams and into a world which we presumably know less about than the dark side of the moon. <laughs> <laughs>